Hi there. Today I want to show you how to use the Object Snap Toolbar, which you can expand by right clicking on the toolbar area up here, go Show Toolbar, go down to Object Snap and check that, and then you have this. From this little pop out menu, um, there are five here that I want to talk about, which I find pretty useful. To draw on a poly surface, this is quite similar to the sketch command and you can draw on a surface, but here you actually select the points instead of just sketching freehand. Similarly with on surface, so it's a similar principle. And then to rotate an object so it's parallel to another object. Uh, to create an object so that the next points are in line with an existing object. And then to create an object which starts in between two points. For the on poly surface component, it takes a poly surface like this and it figures out which faces of that poly surface the camera can see. So in this instance, the camera can see the top face, the front face, the left face but not the right face, the back face, or the bottom face, but that can change. So if I take a control point curve, degree three is fine, and then I go to the on poly surface object snap, I'm gonna right click on this so that the command continually finds the surface to project those control points onto. So I right click that, select this poly surface, and then start drawing. And you can see that because that left face is visible by the camera, it snaps those points to that face. I can do it to the front face as well, and I can also do it to the bottom face. And if I can press enter, you'll see that that curve has snapped to all of those visible faces. Now for the on surface object snap, it's very similar. I will create a new control point curve and I'll right click on the on surface object snap so it's persistent. I'll select the surface and then start drawing. And you can see that each of these new control points have been snapped to that surface. And now I want to show you how you can take an object and rotate it so that it's parallel to an existing object. So let's say I want to take this line here and rotate it around the left point so that it becomes parallel to this red line. To do that, I will start the rotate command, which for me is the alias R. I'm going to select that first point and then I select the end point of that line. Now I select the along parallel object snap. It asks for a base point, so the start of a red line and the end point. And then it asks for the center of rotation, which is the start of this newly created line. So I'll do that. And now you can see when I press enter, this line has been rotated. So it's parallel to this red line. Now let's say I want to create a line which is parallel to an existing curve. I'm going to start a polyline, select a start or a base point. Then I'm going to select a long parallel. It asks for the start of the baseline and the end of the baseline. And it asks for a point for parallel tracking. So I'm going to select that start point, and now if I create a new point, it will be parallel to that existing red line. The last object snap that I want to show you is the create between command. That allows you to start a curve from between two points. So I'm going to create a new curve and then select between, and I'm going to select the start point and the end point, and you can see that it's going to start that new point from right in between those two points. So there you have it five somewhat hidden commands which may help speed up your workflow. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe, give it a like, and consider sharing with your friends. Cheers.